All right, so this is a bit different. So this game here, Observer. This is a game I was, I got on Terminals. Almost every time I get a Terminals game, uh, it is usually pretty good, pretty polished, pretty awesome. Um, maybe not always to my exact liking, but they're usually well-made games. I don't know. And honestly, with Observer here, I can't tell you for a sure, certain if it's a good game or not. So what I can tell you about this game, um, it's steampunk and horror, from what I understand, which is an interesting mix. You don't see that very often. You think you'd see it more often. It's not a bad idea. Um, it's also a uh, single player, as far as I can tell. And why I'm pointing this out will become relevant in a bit, but um, it's, it's pretty cool looking, from what I can tell. Cyberpunk horror, psychological horror, sci-fi. It, it's got some cool stuff going on here, you know? It, it's... I think it's a walk-in simulator. I don't think there's a ton of gameplay from what I understand. But it definitely has a cool look. It, it was, I was interested. I was very interested in this. However, the unfortunate thing is... And just to scroll down and show you here. Single player, right? Yeah. Well, here's the problem. Uh, and let me just make sure. Yeah, everything's showing up fine. Okay. Um, when I hit play, it prepares to launch. And it runs. And it will do one of two things, and it seems to decide this randomly. Usually it does this. A little open. Okay. Now this is a launcher. What we have here on screen. Now, you may have noticed, though, the launcher dies. Now, first thing is weird. It's a single-player game, but it requires a launcher that you have to then launch the game via. That's very odd. It's perfectly normal for an online game, especially MMOs, but for a single-player game, it's very odd. Now, the thing is here, it will always die. It will always die in this process, and then it just freezes and it does nothing. I've sat on this for a long time. It does nothing. Um... I also got to pop in here and make sure it actually properly closed, because usually it doesn't. Usually it leaves a process. I think it did actually close the process this time. Um, here's the interesting thing, though. If I go into its game folder here, um, the Observer EXE is the, is, the, um, is the launcher. Observer Sub is actually the game. All right. So what if I just launch the game directly, right? Now, don't ignore this error. This is just a weird thing my computer does. It doesn't matter. This never affects games when this happens. Sometimes my computer thinks there should be a disk for something. I just hit continue and it always works perfectly. That has nothing to do with the errors I experience with this. Uh, it's just something... I just need to reinstall Daemon tools. It's doing some funky stuff again. No big deal. Anyways, we hit continue. It's going to launch the game. However, crash. Unreal process crash, UE4, the observer. Now, this is actually, <laughs> of course, now that I'm recording, something different happens, but this is about on par. I've not had that uh, error before. That's an actually, that's really interesting to see that error. But um, normally what happens when I launch through this method, let's see if it does it this time. I don't know if it will. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I assume you guys can see this. I'll make sure in a second. But you see we have a nice splash screen. And uh, here we go. Photo of Sips of Epsley. If you have a history of Epsley seizures, call Dr. For Use, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, you got the intro starting up. Everything seems to be good, right? The game used an Odyssey feature. Please not show the game. You see this again. We're good, right? We got it. We're in. And it, we do have it. We have an intro play now. The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. The year is oh, God, there's 2084. Voice it's slow. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, the disease of transition. A digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one. The great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Voltec! Except for Kyra. The 
corporation seized power th and th forged the fifth fall out. Polish Republic, <laughs> a crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, they endured, and so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds off your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me to access you, to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozelski. I'm an observer. So you guys are seeing this just fine, right? You guys are. I'm making. Sh I'm pretty sure I set up the. Re I have to do. Did a. I did a unique thing to make sure I recorded both my screen and this. You guys saw all that, right? That ran fine. As you can see, Andrew's playing. Oh, but there's a problem with your Steam connection. Please exit the game and log into Steam. This. This exists because I circumvented the Steam login. I circumvented the. Observer launcher. I didn't launch this with Steam. I launched this as the on the exe via my computer. If this game didn't have, oh, you didn't launch this with Steam protection, which is probably kind of a piracy protection. I could play this game, but seeing as there's a really odd error with launching it through Steam, this piracy protection or whatever you want to call this has prevented me from my only means of trying to play this game. Exit's the only option at this point. Which, of course, just brings us back to here. Now, obviously, obviously the game's files are fine. You may think when I hit play in Steam and it doesn't, and I get the launcher and then things freeze, you may originally think, oh, Charm, there's something wrong with your installation. You need to verify files. You need to uninstall and reinstall. Well, I've done that several times, even though... Even though, obviously, the game is running. The game is running fine. That's not the issue. The issue seems, as far as I can tell, to be something embedded with how Steam and the launcher are interacting. There is some error, and it's not just me. Now, this isn't just a me thing. Yes, there are people that are able to play this game. I think the majority of people are able to play Observer just fine. However... It's not like my error is the only one that, like, the only example that exists. I, I'm not sure how quickly I can search it out. Probably not that hard, actually. Let's see here. Um, but you can see, you can see just going through this forum, you can see some issues. Like, loading screen black, very bad FPS, no sound. There's some definite issue that, issues that people are having, if not my issue. But my issue does show up with some people. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Can't play. Need to log into Steam. I bought this game a month ago, and I want to get back into it. When the game starts right after the epilogue, it says something's wrong with my Steam account and log back in, which I did, but I won't work. The game only gives me the option to exit the game. Has anyone an idea what's going on here? Have you tried verifying your files, says the developer, not understanding that, that the files, if they were correct, wouldn't the game would load if the, if the files were correct. So, um, But, yeah, that's one example. Obviously, that's something we're experiencing um, when I try to launch it through, through circumventing Steam. The issue of me launching it and the game just not at all starting, it does, ex yeah, game doesn't even load now. Uh, it's 2018, I have a new MacBook, I download the game, it doesn't get past the title screen. Maybe your MacBook is too weak to run it? No, that's not the issue. That isn't the issue here. Um, but I could go, and uh, even if I did get in the game, it seems like chromatic aberration is, and death of field is bothering people and you can't turn it off. That would probably suck for me, if I, even if I could get it running, but... Um, there's a guy that are moving things that are, you know. Yeah, load error. The game does not load past the first scene. That person at least got a little further, but apparently they can't get past the first, like, cutscene. Um, there are bugs. Fall off the map. <laughs> All right. I can't register a game in Launcher because I can't create an account by Launcher and by website. Does the game want me to register in a launch in a website? Maybe that's... That seems to be what's crashing then, perhaps, is trying to launch a website, and that's what's causing the crash. I don't know. 
But um, I could go on. I definitely know there's some other forum posts here that express that the game won't even start for them, much like it for me. At least two other posts I can think of. I won't bother searching it out because that would take forever. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, again, I've tried to... Now, keep in mind, this game... This is uh, about 9 gigs. So I have uninstalled and reinstalled this three times. It took a while to download every single time. It's not exactly small. It's not huge, but it did take me a while. So I've put a lot of time outside of the streaming. Outside of streaming, I put a lot of time into trying to get this game working, but it won't. And it seems to be an issue with something involving their security protection, something involving wanting to use the launcher, wanting the launcher to launch the game while having Steam running. And again, it's not affecting most people, but it's not affecting just me. There is a small subset of people where this game won't run simply because of the way the developers designed the game. Simply because of the way they designed their security, as far as I can tell. I don't know what exactly is going on here. It doesn't seem to be like a de novo issue or anything. I don't think that's what they're using, but simply put, though, Observer Devs, perhaps you should make it so the game starts up in a more, I don't know, normal way as a game would start. Because it is creating issues for some people, and it's not their fault. So that's all I got, though. This is my review of Observer. Sorry it isn't an actual gameplay situation, but fuck, man, I tried. And I can't try any further. Only one thing left to do, really.